what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna be showing you how i got this hair i hope you guys enjoy this video just stick around so that you can see it this is my version of my diy passion twist the hair that i'm using this is kinakalon hair from Darling, uh, the Ghanaian Reeves. I'm using color number 27 and color number 30, stroke 27, because it's blonde in the ends. I really, really like this color. It's so, so pretty. I, I was obsessed with this color. I really want to do this hair over again. But yeah. And then next, I'm using these straws. These straws are very soft, but you can try and find better straws. I got these from. You can find these basically anywhere. I'm using my hair pins, my bobby pins. Uh, I actually found out after this video that you can use skewers to do this. And I wish I had known that before, but it still works. So yeah, I just got the hair here and I'm just gonna smooth it out, run my fingers through it, just to get rid of any knots. It's And that's the amount of hair that I'm using. And I just take a piece of hair and I wrap it around the straw like that. So just keep watching and I'm going to fully explain how I do this in the next in the next few clips. Alright, so I pick up a little piece of hair, just like that, and then I take it and wrap it around. So I'm just going to repeat that over again. Smooth the hair, just take a section of hair, you can take any amount of hair you want. I wanted them slightly big, so I was taking a pretty generous amount of hair. And I smooth it through, and I take it and put it in between the straw, around the straw, not around the straw like that and I hold tightly at the end and so I just move it out more and I take the twist and take the bendable part of the straw and put it down so that it doesn't bother me so much yeah and then I take the hair and wrap it around itself and twist it like that so I'll be twisting it like that and then after I twist I wrap so I twist and wrap and twist and wrap that's basically what I'm doing throughout the video, just twisting and wrapping. So yeah, it's a very tedious process. Like I said, these straws are too soft, so you want straws that are hard enough. You can find those in Tootlows or in Sana. I got these straws for 500, they weren't the best thing. Or you can use skewers, because those are so much easier. The worst thing that can happen is they break. Because when, when the straw is too bendy, it's really hard to do all this. So yeah. And then I just keep on twisting and wrapping, twisting and wrapping. This process really takes a really long time. I had to sit down and do all the, to do the rest of them. And yeah, when I get to the end of the twist, I just keep on wrapping the same way as I would. And for no more connectable on hair, it gets thin at in the end. So what I did is I wrapped the hair, I kept wrapping the hair around itself. So I keep doing that and also I take my bobby pin to secure it in the ends so that it doesn't unravel anytime in between while I'm doing the other twist or when I put it in hot water.
all right so here i'm done and these are the twists i've got quite a couple of them and there was more where that came from so yeah i just grab a bunch of them and i take a pail of hot water like extremely hot water so that's my hot water i put it in a bucket because these there were a whole lot of these things so yeah and then i take the i take each hair whatever and i put them all in the hot water so you want to be careful because the water is extremely hot so i'm dipping them in and i'm using a little hair clip just to make sure each and everything is submerged because i don't want to touch it with my hand because it's hot that's how hot this water is and yeah and then you just leave it in there a minute is enough but i decided to leave it in there for a couple of hours you can leave it in overnight and then you can let it and then afterwards you can let them air dry but they don't have to be dry all the way you can use them whatever way you want whether you want them to dry all the way or not so now i am detangling my hair i twisted my hair to keep it stretched so i'm just unraveling those twists and then my hair is already like pretty moisturized before because i I moisturized it before so I'm just taking my mixture of shea butter, pasta oil and coconut oil and I'm using that to seal in the rest of the moisture that is already in my hair and I'm using it also to detangle my hair because I don't want to be too harsh on my hair like so I want to lightly very lightly detangle it and at this point my hair is getting at this point my, the rest of the hair is getting dry and then now I am parting my hair so that I can get started with the with the twist. So I'm taking the rubber band up here. So as I part I as I part my hair I as I section it I take a I take my equal styler and I spread it around my hair and then I take a small rubber band and I wrap it around my hair. So I got these rubber bands from AliExpress. They were so inexpensive. I think they were like, I don't remember how much they were in dollars, but they were like 600 kwasha, and there's like 2,000 of them in the whole pack. So yeah, and then I'm just, just separating my hair individually with the rubber bands. And now that I'm done, so this is how I unravel the hair. I actually preferred it damp because it was very easy to unravel. So yeah, I know this is, the clip is moving really fast, but I'll try and explain that. But yeah, I take the hair and wrap it around the section of hair and twist normally. So basically, here you can use whatever method of twisting you can you, you use. I prefer to twist normally. I start with, I start with braiding and then I twist. So basically, I start from the beginning of the hair and then I just unwind it in the opposite direction that I was twisting and I keep going down very gently till I get to the end and then I twist the hair so I start with with a three strand with a three strand braid for a bit and then after that I twist it so the three strand braid allows it to stay secure because I didn't feel like crocheting my I didn't feel like crocheting the twist in Plus, I really did not know where my crochet needle was because there was so much going on in the house at this moment in time. So everything of mine was all over the place. So I really didn't have the time to start looking for my crochet needle. So yeah, I keep twisting as normally as possible. You can twist tightly, it's okay. I was actually very worried about that. I really wasn't sure about how to twist because nothing actually explains that. But it looked very straight as I was twisting. And I realized that after some time, even if it's after a couple of hours, it starts to take shape and to be as curly as you see in pictures and all over YouTube. So yeah, you just need to be patient with it and just keep going and keep twisting. Because I've been trying to do it for a really long time, but I really didn't know how to do it. So yeah. Anyways. Uh, this is me, and I'm just gonna continue with the rest of my head.
points, that's all I did. And I kept doing that for the rest of my head, so this is the final product. I really was in love with this place, I, I loved how they came out, I loved the color, I just loved everything. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye!